Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Peter Avestrat, and I'm playing Half-Life 2 without dying, or at least trying not to die. I forgot to mention last time that I am playing on normal difficulty, just to prove it. We'll get a laggy menu, and we are on normal difficulty. I know, usually I play on hard, but I think if I'm not dying, I think it would be only fair to keep it at uh, normal. And let us begin the rest of the game. Can't leave the baby behind. Last left them. Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh oh, everything all right, Doctor Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? Yes, we I We owe am. a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is it here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you <laughs> might as well get him out of his sits. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. I'm way behind in my beating quota. Here we go. Ah. Damn it, get it off me. Lamar. Lamar. There you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. Yeah. Hello, Gordon. Go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, this is the moment, the moment we've all been waiting for. The moment when I'm allowed to die. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <coughs> The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. Right. You know... I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. I've got to admit that I, I never got this in my first few playthroughs. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> Gotta love his little elevator. He's a, he's a wonderful, wonderful. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. 
Oh, I can sprint, yes, of course. <laughs> That's not who our ticket is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see the massless field. I'm a big fan of the ambient music. So Oh no, I lost some health. Lost some suit. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cash. Visualizing in three, two, one. No, things, Nixon. What now? Uh. <laughs> I love the ambient soundtrack, and um. So I've turned the music right up. Just for your entertainment and my amusement. And my entertainment, Very of course. Good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. <laughs> My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, <laughs> as soon as you're in position, we'll send you... This game is way too quotable. Oh, too soon. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? <laughs> Sorry, Lamar. Did that already. They're so beautiful. It's just the animations there, the, the um, little bots there. Right, sorry if I could run too quickly. Here we go! Here is when it all begins properly this time. Not without any introduction. Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City Seeker's 17 site. as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. <laughs> Did he just do a peace sign? I don't think I've noticed that before. Right, let's go. Oh god, that was not a good start. I don't have a clue. Oh. Gosh, it's when you're in the moment that you suddenly forget everywhere you're supposed to go and you feel like you've forgotten it all. Ah, hello. Oh, well, that wasn't useful. 
This shouldn't be nerve-wracking, because I've done this a million times before. Uh, but um, it's when you've got the thought that uh, suddenly, if something goes wrong, it's all over. This is the first. Right. We have a pistol. We have saved this couple, or at least one of them. I have a gun. And we're on root canal. I believe this is where... Yes, I am going. I just believe... This is where I should end it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and, of course, good luck.